We got Shakur Stevenson and Artem. They had a bout tonight. The fight card was fire, though. They, of all the people that was on the fight card, mm-hmm. um, there was my dude Moses. He gonna be an upcoming star. That dude was vicious. Ronda Tenacity got Keyshawn Davis. He did his thing. I'm not a fan of him off outside of boxing, but in boxing, he showed some dog in him. I appreciate it. Then you know we had the robbery of the century. Uh boy, that that um. That robbery was was crazy. Like I understand, you know, we don't like the whole running and stuff, but he didn't do that. He did a master class. Um, old dude named old what was his name? Old um, old Jackie dog? Old <laughs> some. We'll just say old. <laughs> nah, yeah. but dude from Texas. Yeah, I know he yeah. he did his thing. He schooled the guy. It was a robbery. The guy he he tripled his punch that every time. Yeah, so that was a robbery. But, but then we have, you know, the main event, Shakur Stevenson. Whew, um, this guy, guys. So before I get started, Uncle Money, how do you feel about Shakur Stevenson's fight? Well, I know Shakur Stevenson is one of your favorite boxers. You love you love watching him fight. You actually tell me this off camera that he's one of your favorites. Now, I'm going to tell you what I think of uh, – <laughs> Snooze core sleeping ten. All right, look. So let's talk about Shakur Stevenson and Artem. That fight. No, no, no. But all jokes aside, I gave. I'm probably the only one, and I'm being nice. That gave Shakur round one only because he landed three punches and Artem landed two. Now I will say this. It was a one-sided fight throughout rounds two through 12. And even though it was one-sided fight, and I do believe that Shakur had a better performance than his last fight, still, Shakur has not sold me. I'm not sold on the guy. Excellent fighter. I will absolutely give him that. He is a he is an excellent fighter. I won't deny that. But as far as... Having that dog in him, being that it factor, no. Now, as the rounds got later, he started, you know, punishing with the body shots. But at the end of the day, it still was not an entertaining fight. It was so bad that you saw fans literally leaving during the fight. The, the camera literally showed it. They're making fun of the commentary in the cameraman, the, the production that was making fun of him. They did it on purpose to, to let you guys know. Who he is? We know how we know the the critiques that he's had. All the commentary team kept talking about was how he got critiqued about his last fight for being boring, and you got literally fans walking out of the middle of the fight. That says it all, man. Uh, I'm not sold on him. <laughs> oh boy, like Shakur Stevenson, he put a masterclass performance of just of punishing the guy, and. My issue with Shakur, and it's 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 just he doesn't take accountability of his performances. He always he put he put it on his other he put it on his other opponent. He said, "Well, the fight's going to be interesting if I get better competition." But that's not the mentality. Like even Moses, the, the young prospect, came up and said, "I mean, he's def- short." Shakur Stevenson is a defensive mindset fighter. He had waits for perfect openings, and that's when he strikes. He does one punch at a time, and he doesn't do combinations. Um, he did a he's, it was a great performance of just boxing of like we're in the amateur. It's like you, I mean, it's really his style is great for amateur style yeah. because it's about point system. But for somebody to pay money, like I don't feel like his performances are main event performances. I'd rather see Keyshawn Davis. He could have been the main event. Or so everybody on his fight card could have been the main event before Shakur. I mean, I understand that boxers, like, you achieve something. Like, you're like, oh, I achieved these accolades. I'm a world champion, three-time world champion. I achieved these accolades. But this is prize fighting. Um, 
nobody's asking for you to knock out people. Like, so I want to stop right. with, I see YouTubers, everybody else. Well, what do you want? It's a knockout. Like I seen champ side said that's a knockout. Like, no, nobody's looking for knockouts. Right. right. We're looking gonna, for how, how you perform. Cause you ain't gonna always uh, knock the guy out. You know, like you said, you know, we're, yeah. we're not asking cause not everyone's going to get the knockout. It is what it is. But like you said, we're looking to be entertained at the end of the day. Yeah, because I'm, I'm up here at 12 o'clock at night. I'm not trying to be bored. And stop saying it's your opponent's fault. You you want to – Shakur Stevenson wants to be put up with the greatest. He – should with uh, Terrence Crawford. He he names Muhammad Ali. He names Floyd Mayweather. He names Andre Ward. He names these players. But these people have have dog in them. Yeah. These people are, are – will sometimes take a punch to give a punch. These people – like Floyd Mayweather, first of all, if he's fighting an Arthur uh, – if he's probably finding a what's what's the name the dude's name again? I'm sorry. Artem. The, I'm probably he's finding an Artem. Yeah. He's finding an Artem. That's not the competition that you let this ride. Shakur, if you look at Floyd Mayweather's resume, the fighters that are like an Artem do not last. He doesn't keep them around. That was early in 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 Floyd's career when he had good two good hands. You don't have those fighters lasting 12 rounds with them. They get them out. Get them out there. Right. Even Frank Martin's fight that people felt that Artem won was more entertaining because Frank Martin, he was, try, he, he was trying to punish him, looking for punch. It was just entertaining. Yeah. Like, nobody's knocking for looking for knockouts. But if we're looking at Shakur, you're saying that you're up here. You're levels above everybody. You're saying all these things. All we're doing is holding you accountable. Mm -hmm. If you're going to say that you're this top fighter, that you're levels above everybody, that you beat anybody, that you're just more skilled and more talented and your your IQ and smart more than anybody, then you should punish these these fighters that that are not world champions. Right. You like Ryan Garcia gets out these champions, already knock them down three times. If you make you should make these this is a chance to make these fights interesting. Your idol, Bud Crawford, when he fought uh, Green Machine, me machine, whatever they when he fought him, nobody knew who he was, but he made it interesting and got him out of there. Got him out. Like the thing is that you can't say, "Oh, well, he was running." No, you're supposed to be this. You, you're you're putting this pressure on yourself. Right. Don't say you're this person if you don't before. If your actions don't show you this person, that's my problem with Shakur. He's saying he's this person, but Man, you're not, not acting like this person. And it's not that the knockout was not the knockout was there. The knockout was there early. Like he could have, he he slips punches, but don't throw back. His corner was telling him to jab, but he won't jab because he said if you jab, you knock him out. You put some pressure on him. Right. But he's not doing that. He's he's throwing one punch at a time, like he's a knockout artist. But you need to throw some combinations. You, you need, need to make to angles. Up. Yeah. And, like, and you know what's like, funny is that knockout punch. You know what's funny is that like in the mid rounds when he started picking up the pace, he was telling his corner, "I'm going to stop him. I'm going to stop him." And then you had, you know, everyone believing, oh, okay, he's going to stop. I mean, I text you. I'm thinking, okay, he should stop him. But he didn't stop him. Like, you had every opportunity. He didn't go. <laughs> should have stopped him. Yeah, throw a combination. It was times that he will slip, and he could throw, like, six combinations back and hit him back, but he didn't do it. Right. Like, he would throw one punch and then look for another opening. One right. punch. Like, first of all, this is, this is the entertainment business. So fans – Everybody, channels and all this, like, understand people pay money. When you pay money for anything, when people are viewing your channel, they ruin it for entertainment factors. They're not viewing the channel just so, oh, well, you're saying facts. Well, you're doing great. Well, did you, we're going to watch you because you're saying all. No, they well, they want you to entertain them in some kind of way. That's why we put little memes in here. We do editing a certain way. We do all these things. When you're watching football, you're going to switch through channels to find a good game. You're not going to sit there and watch a game that is boring. Right. Like, it's just, it is what it is. Like, people have to understand boxing, your entertainment factor. Just being a, being a good boxer doesn't do it. And Shakur, even your style, you, the thing is what I'm mad about Shakur is that he had openings to throw combinations. He does not, he does not want to take any risk. He has to make sure it's wide open before he does it. He has no dog. He doesn't show the dog at all. Like, and you want to fight these big names, but we're like, do I really want to see this? <laughs> like, I want to see it, but I don't at the same time because I'm like, bro, you're just boring. Yeah, he's like, he's, he's not a very he's not an interest interesting fighter. As I mentioned, 
he he's a terrific fighter, but he's not someone that many people would want to invest their money and time in because you've been criticized for the last fight and then this fight, although you did perform significantly better, it still hasn't sold everyone else. And as I mentioned, just the fact that people literally left during it, it says it all. Like nobody leaves in the middle of a fight. In basketball and football, you'll you'll people leave when it's a blowout. But I don't think I've ever seen people just leave in the middle of a boxing match. Yeah, it was in the eleventh round, but still, people stay for the at the Tyson Fury Usek fight. Ain't nobody leaving. Everyone stands to the twelfth and final round. But in your fight, exactly, no one, you know, <laughs> no one stand for that, and that's sad. How's your How's your undercard more interesting than you? And right. you're the main event. This don't make sense. And don't tell me that it's the opponent because Keyshawn David would have would have would have pressed the issue. Uh, Moses would have pressed the issue. The thing is that you want to compare yourself to Floyd. Floyd fought Conor McGregor. The reason he boxed because Conor McGregor is a name. Andre Berto, he's a name. Manny Pacquiao is a name. Marcos Madonna is a name. Canel Canel Alvarez is a name. Roger Guerrero is a name. Miguel Cota is a name. Mm-hmm. Victor Ortiz is a name. Shay Mosley is a name. These Mar- <laughs> Marquez is a name. Ricky Hatton's a name. Akadillo is a name. These are all so names. Boxes. You know, aside from it's Conor okay. McGregor, and aside from Conor McGregor, who is a UFC champion, all the guys you named, you know, were world champions. And their names. This thing is, these are names. You can't compare your opponents that you're making boring fights with to these name opponents that Floyd made. These are are world champions, legends, and because if, if Floyd was in the ring with 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 your fighter, when Floyd was his age, that guy would have got out of there. He'd have been out. Floyd would have got him out. Pretty boy would have. No Floyd would have got him out. You don't get there. paid. You don't get paid for overtime. So stop trying to act like you get paid for overtime because you don't. You don't get paid for overtime. And the thing is, you need, the, these opponents are the opponents you need to take the risk on. These are the opponents that you need to actually be like, okay, I'm gonna try this out. These are the opponents that you have to sit there. Just because, and then people want to have the narrative of. Well, he sat there in the in front of him. That's not what we're critiquing him about. We're critiquing him about he doesn't return fire. You could sit there and make somebody miss right in front of you, but if you're not returning fire, you that's do a something problem. about it. Second of, we're not even talking about you boxing with this dude. We're talking about when there's a when there's a fighter that has power, you run around. Yeah, we don't. We knew you was going to sit there with this guy. He don't have punch power. Right. We knew that. Nobody thought you was going to run from this guy. Like, come yeah. on now. How Frank Martin have a better looking fight, even though we thought Frank Martin lost? How does Frank Martin have a more interesting fight? How does your undercars keep on having more interesting fights? That is crazy to me. And you want to get paid all this money, but you don't have interesting fights. You have an amateur style. Your amateur style because you like point system. And don't compare yourself to comparing yourself to these greats because you're not the you're not the greats. You're not there yet. And I don't know if you're ever gonna get there. Because Floyd Mayweather entertained, Shane Mosley entertained, Austin Dahlia entertained, Sugar Ray Robinson entertained, Muhammad Ali, he floats like a butterfly, but he stings like a bee. He entertains. For all these greats you're naming, they they entertain. Only reason Bud didn't get his clout was because Bud had bad promotion. Bad but promotion, when he fought, yeah. it, it, he del- it was he entertaining. Del- he delivered. <laughs> it's just... and. Look. Look! 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 I know, you crazy. you you going in, man? You you know how you going in? <laughs> it, it's just crazy because people want these narratives, man. Like you, you I, I I was looking at. I like these channels, but then it just becomes like, like people are feeling some type of way because we're we're critiquing um, a black fighter. It's not a race thing because I still like Earl Spence. I still like Bird Car- Bud Crawford. I still like Sean Porter. I still like uh, Moses. I still like Keaton Davis when they box. So stop and stop acting like I, I feel like I saw a champ side say something about um well what do y'all want y'all want a creative player like nah we critiquing Shakur Stevenson because it, numbers don't lie he he has people walking out the arena so the majority feels like he's a boring fighter that's what it is well they don't think the majority don't think Boots Ennis is a boring fighter I don't see nobody walking out Boots Ennis <laughs> his stadium nobody um people stayed for Devin Haney I'm not even a Devin Haney fan. They stayed Everybody when he stayed. fought Combr- Combosa. Yeah. Like, they stayed. He just jabbed the whole time. They, they stayed for Tank Davis. That's another black fighter. So it's not a black thing. It's just that when you say that you're levels above these, you're the people that you, you 
Shakur said he's levels above Devin Haney. He's levels above Tank Davis. He's levels above all these other counterparts, black fighters, but he's not performing like it. If you're level above, you should be able to do anything with anybody. It's just what it is. This is easy work. And then you say it's easy. If it's easy, I would have came up there, cut off the ring, put my hands up like Tank does. When somebody's easy, Tank goes up and do it. But then Shakur needs to hit angles. He needs combination. He needs to add combination to his repertoire. Because that's the only way he's going to be entertaining because he doesn't have no knockout power. He does not have knockout power, a one-punch knockout power. He needs to do punches and bunches. Yeah. And that's the only problem with Shakur. To be entertaining, he has to do punches and bunches. Right. He's one shot. Is not doing it. We're like, yo, like I'm not gonna. Because, I wouldn't like until he. Because <laughs> defense. I mean, defensively, you know, he's he's amazing. His defense is amazing. But like you mentioned, after you after you, you know he misses, you need to throw something back. You have to throw, and that's what he does not do. He he doesn't. Yeah, he make a miss, but then all right, what are you doing? Maybe one punch. No, you need to be landing some combinations because he's not a knockout artist. You need to wear him down. And I mean. Mm-hmm. You know, the, and old dude was not a volume puncher either. Right. I mean, he wasn't. He wasn't like I, the copy boxes. Shakur actually threw more punches than the dude in certain stats. But the thing is, the other dude was not a heavy puncher. He, you landed what y'all threw. Uh, total punches landed was 170. He landed 74. That's cool and all. I'm not saying, but the thing is, the dude was not a volume puncher either. Mm-hmm. When we saw that with Frank Martin. He's not a volume puncher. The, the when he fought against Frank Martin, at the end of the day, you're saying you're the guy, so you're gonna get the most critique if you're saying you're the guy. Stop saying if y'all boxers don't want to be critiqued, and y'all want to cry because those fans don't want anything from me. Don't say you're the guy. Do it not comes, say you're the it guy. It comes with it because if, if you want to be, with if, it. if you want to, you know, claim you're the great, then you're gonna have to take all the heat as well. You'll get all the praise when it's good, but when it's bad, you have to accept all of it. And if you can't accept it, then don't call yourself the great. Yeah, all of them had different critiques. Tank's critiques are he needs to fight higher level competition. But in the fights, people are entertained. Yeah. Tank don't even throw that many punches in the beginning, but you can feel that that dog in him. You feel you feel that. And Tank can slip and move the whole time if he wanted to. Right. He could. Tank is setting like he, up, like he, you know, when he's not throwing. He's, he's setting up. He's setting up for what he's going to do in the later rounds. He, his IQ is on point. Yeah. He got he got a – Bud does the same thing. Yeah. Even Floyd, you know, he was Bud's fighting. There. He, Floyd, you know, the couple rounds collecting data, you know, and then it's, it's, he's getting, getting, getting ready. And you see the dog in Floyd. Even when when Floyd got rocked by Shane Mosley, you saw mm-hmm. the dog in him. He, he still quit. when Floyd showed dog when he was fighting Canelo. Like you you feel the energy of the dog, right? Like Shakur, you don't got that dog in you right now. And and the thing that's what the thing is that people, yes, you might not like the words that we say, but I'm pretty I'm sure you man enough to take this constructive criticism, add combinations, because you're you're not entertaining, and nobody's you want people to pay eighty dollars for your fights. Want to show up and pay what six hundred, seven hundred dollars, a thousand dollars to get a, a seat in your arena, you, and then the, it's boring. Like the thing is that everybody sat there. They sat there for Mosley, Moses. They sat there for Keyshawn. They 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 sat there, they, they sat there for Foster. They sat there for all them people. And then when Shakur, they left. Yeah, like some of them left. Yeah, that is bad look. Like, you, if you don't take this constructive criticism, what everybody's saying, it's not just what we're saying, it's just what the fans are doing. You're not going to get the fights you want. You ain't going to get the money you want. And you're not going to get the recognition you want. Because, yes, you can be the greatest defensive boxer, never get hit, have the lowest copy box numbers, comp box numbers of just not getting touched, but being the most accurate puncher, hitting one punch at a time. But... We're gonna be looking at you like, well, I, I'm not. I didn't see it. Just like all those bat, bat and weight fights, we don't see no. all those those lower weight classes fights, we don't see. We don't see because it. we just don't see it. Because we're not gonna want to watch it. Like I'm not gonna wait unless unless you have your fights in the mid in the during the day, have it like at five o'clock. Because <laughs> I'm not staying up for no more of those fights. And, like and you know that's five a.m. for me, and I ain't getting up for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Five, yeah. So. 
But, you know, we, we know that um, Shakur, need, he needs to figure something out. Otherwise, his brand is going to plummet. Yeah. But Shakur, man, you get better, man. Get better, man. Stop, stop. Get off the Twitter. Get off the anything. And work on your career. Talk to Bud about how to get that dog in you or something. Maybe get knocked down a couple times. <laughs> Do something, man. Yeah. Like this, this get beat up a couple times because, and then this because, I'm I'm really conflicted about the Tank and Shakur fight. Um, just not because like, I don't feel like y'all are skill wise. Y'all might be good. It's just the, I, I just don't want to be bored, man. It like, may be. I just it, don't. It probably won't be <laughs> as entertaining. I don't think it'll be an entertaining fight. Uh, um, you know, we'll we'll have to see what they do next with Shakur and with Tank and with Lomachenko. We'll have to see what they do in the future.